Hi and welcome back to Bill's Cichlid Room. Today I thought I'd do a species profile on the Pherichthes passionis. The genus Pherichthes currently contains nine different species that are split into two groups, the Miki group and the Heliae group. The Miki group is the Affinis, the Miki, and what we're going to talk about is the Passionis. The other group is the Heliae group, which is the Aurorus, the Bacopintus, which is also the, uh, the Eleotai, the Heliae, the Calipinus, the Scophiophi, and the recently described Pancrovilla that was described in 2017. The Pherichthes Passionis was described by Rivers in 1962 and was first introduced into the hobby in 1985. They come from Central America in Guatemala and the type species is from the Rio de la Passon, which is where they get the name from. The genus Pherichthes actually comes from Greek and it means leaping fish. Although in my experience I've never seen or heard of any of them leaping and I can only assume it must have been hungry isolated fish in a small pond that were observed by Meek when he named the species. The males of the Passionis reach 6.5 to 7 inches in size with the females a little bit smaller. They're adaptable to water chemistries but do be fair at a slightly alkaline pH of 7 to 8.5 and a temperature range of 76 Fahrenheit to 82 Fahrenheit. The best kept in groups of between 4 and 10 in spaces aquarium with rocks and hiding places to establish territories. They also prefer dither fish to stop them from hiding. In the natural habitat there's a lot of live bearing uh, fish that can be used as dither fish. Things like sword tails, mollies, that sort of thing. A good identifier for the Passionis is the black membrane under the gill covers. Unlike the red in the fire mouths, this gives them the common name of the black gullet cichlid. They accept all hardy foods, but it's best not to keep them on a high fat or protein diet because this can cause the indigestion problems. Sexing them can be quite difficult at a young age, but as they mature, the females have red dots on the ventral region and the males are seen to have a bluish colour in certain light. In older females, they sometimes have a blotch in the dorsal fin. I've got a group of four of them, which I'm still waiting for them to, uh, to sex out. They're about three inches at the moment, and they tend to sex out when they get to about four. Although they're not as common in the hobby as the firemouth cichlid, I still find them really, really interesting with the subdued uh, coloration. Uh, the behavior of them is very similar to the firemouth. I'm hoping that these ones will pair off and breed because they are quite rare in the hobby. In fact, these are the only ones that I've seen in many, many years. The group of four that I have share the tank with a pair of F1 Nicaragua Gwents. There's three tuber cichlids. There's a pair of Mineri. There's a male Robert Stoneye. Unfortunately, I lost a female recently. There's some orange sword tails and some Danios as diver fish. The parameters of the tank that these ones are kept in, it's got a pH of about neutral and the temperature range is about 78 degrees. They feed on most things that are put into the tank, uh, frozen foods, flake foods, pellets and they do like to dig in the substrate to actually um, get the bits of food that's left over. Thanks for watching, I hope you found the information interesting. If there's any other species that you've seen me film in the fish room that you'd like me to do a profile on, please leave it in the comments. See you all again soon.